And still on this story, we know that it's toxic, we know it's radioactive, but most people have never even heard of polonium-210 until today. And that, as we've been saying, is the substance forensic experts have found in Alexander Litvinenko's urine. To tell us more about it is the president for the Canadian Coalition for Nuclear Responsibility. He is Gordon Edwards. He joins me from Montreal. Gordon, hello to you. What can you tell me about polonium-210? Because I'm fascinated by this story. Well, polonium-210 is a naturally occurring radioactive substance, which uh, is a derivative of uranium. Uh, whenever you mine uranium, you turn out a certain amount of polonium-210. It's a natural radioactive byproduct of uranium. In fact, Marie Curie isolated polonium way back when, mm -hmm. and she named it polonium after her native country of, Pol of Poland. But this material is extremely toxic. In fact, the National Academy of Sciences in the United States declared that it was much more toxic than plutonium. Many yeah. people have heard of plutonium. And what makes it very good as a poison is that it, you really can't detect the rays from it. The radiation is alpha radiation. Alpha radiation can easily be blocked by a piece of paper. So, so it doesn't that, go through uh, your skin is what you're saying. It can't go through your skin. So, that's correct. So, so when you put it on the food, it. Yeah. that's right. So it's safe for the saboteur to handle. Uh, but it's very toxic for the person who ingests it. Yeah, but how easily can you get a hold of, you know, uh, polonium-210 in the world, and where can you? Well, that is the mystery. In fact, uh, there's only limited markets for polonium, and the only people, in my view, in my experience, who would have access to large quantities of polonium-210 would be weapons manufacturers, people who make nuclear weapons in particular. The polonium-210 is an essential ingredient in the triggering mechanism for an atomic explosion. Hmm. And uh, although there are some commercial devices which use polonium, these are much smaller quantities. Uh, it appears that we're talking here about rather massive amounts. Right. Gordon, I also want to know about um, the whole radiation discussion because when most of, most of us as Canadians think of radiation, we sort of connect it with cancer treatment um, and it usually saves lives. So how is this radiation different? Well, as I say, it is alpha radiation. It has very little penetrating power, but inside the body, it can damage thousands of cells. And when those cells are able to reproduce, they can become cancerous. Now, when they do uh, radiation treatments involving radioactive materials, they usually put them in gold needles. They, mm -hmm. they have something called radon needles. They can put this into a tumor, and it's the penetrating radiation that shrinks the tumor but the alpha radiation never really reaches the cells because it's blocked by that gold. You so must, it is shielded, basically. You must be fascinated by this story as I am. Uh, Gordon Edwards joining us from Montreal. I thank you for your time. My pleasure.